Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's looking at your top stories on this Tuesday. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine-Cava is seeking to terminate the Miami Sea Aquarium lease because of the site's deplorable conditions. The decision coming after multiple reports from the USDA dealing with the aquarium's marine life and structural safety. In a letter to the Dolphin Company, Cava writes that the Virginia Key site failed to resolve violations despite several warnings. The Sea Aquarium will also owe thousands of dollars in unpaid rent to the county. We have a safety alert in Pembroke Pines. Police investigating the rape of a 17-year-old girl. They say the victim was walking along Flamingo Road near Southwest 14th Street Sunday night when a man grabbed her from behind, pulled her into the bushes, and raped her. Police say the man then ran away. Investigators looking into video evidence that could help lead to an arrest. Thieves hitting a highly business twice, breaking down a wall to get inside. Surveillance cameras capturing that burglary at the Inter-American Window Tinting business. After being unable to open the ATM the first time, the crooks made sure to bring the right tools when they returned. The business owner said the thieves got away with thousands of dollars and some pricey car accessories. And loved ones mourning the death of a teen who was shot outside of a Best Buy in Plantation. The empty classroom chair for 17-year-old Terrence Farrington sits with his football jersey surrounded by pictures and flowers. Staff and students at the Youth Center Youth Under Construction remembering Farrington as an outgoing student. Police say he was one of four people ambushed and shot by a group outside of that store on Sunrise Boulevard and Flamingo Road on Saturday night. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.